Well, uh, buenos dias. Um, we are today in here. Um, get in South Central LA. Take a look at my neighborhood. Uh, this is the neighborhood of the house that I'm working on right now. If you want to uh, just give a little update on what's going on in this house that we're rehabbing right now. And uh, yeah, it's coming along smoothly. Uh, so if you want to check it out with me, let's go. All right, house chores part two. We've got a, a rental part right here. It's uh, considered to be in an area called, uh, at least formerly known as South Central. Uh, we did a rehab here. And uh, this property was not in the best condition. We, uh, as you can see, we put new paint, painted the whole place, and uh, now it's somewhat presentable. This piano actually um, belonged to the previous owner, so we decided to just keep that as a uh, just in case the people who wanna who wanna live here uh, might play music. And here is the kitchen. Tile's a little bit old, but still relatively in good condition. Uh, here's the washing room, where we take care of all the washing, the laundry, you know, those kind of duties. We got a bathroom downstairs bathroom that we completely remodeled. Um, it's in relatively good condition still. All right, and then let me turn on the light for full effect. There you go. Full of downstairs bathroom. Which leads us to the stairs. Now, all the bedrooms are all upstairs, but um, the stairs are a little bit old. But we completely took out all the rugs and uh, the uh, the carpet. We took out all the carpet and made it a uh, wood flooring here. Let's see, upstairs bathroom. Once again, we completely remodeled the bathroom here, and uh, this one has a shower. This is where. Uh, Let's see a bathtub. All right. And it connects to the bedroom here. Let me give you a full view of the bedroom. We still have yet to replace some of the windows, which we will get to. In total, probably about five windows that we need to completely replace. Probably these two. And we got the master bedroom over here. The closet. Once again, the construction here is very old, so we kind of have to use the shape of the house the way it is. But um, for an old house, it's not in the worst condition. Actually, not too bad. And this bedroom had, overlooks the entire neighborhood, so it's actually pretty nice. We just went open uh, the wash the windows a little bit. Anyways. The second uh, bedroom is that one, and then this is the third one. Relatively small. The tiny little closet here, which you need to crawl under kind of to access your clothes. But if you're like, if you're not too big, you know, if you're like maybe five, six, you know, you don't really need to bend over to like access your clothes. So just put a, a clothing rack right here, a pole, and then. You can access your clothes that way. All right, this is the third bedroom. And then we got the fourth one right here. All right, the fourth one also has a tiny closet, big enough. And this one already has a pool here, so you could, it's ready for anyone to use. Okay, it's not the most glamorous uh, house tour, but we are kind of 
in what used to be the ghetto. And uh, this area is gentrifying gentrify right now, which means that they're developing the area and the, the, home, like the housing prices, the property prices are uh, in the process of going up. And uh, you know, you just have to kind of anticipate what's happening. You kind of have to do some research to see what kind of developments they're making in the neighborhood. And uh, you know, eventually, uh, with a little bit of luck, luck and uh, some uh, educated guests, the neighborhood will turn better, turn out better, more developed, and uh, it will clean up, and the property prices, hopefully, will continue to go up. So anyways, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining House Tours. It's Realtor Dan, signing off. Bye-bye.